Before you say anything, dinner would be good. I can't sit around feeling sorry for myself all night. No, but you're missing your kids. I get it. Which is why I went to see Kane. Why? What did he say? That I didn't know you. You thought you getting beaten up meant you were into something dodgy. You should have stayed out of this. Well, I wanted to set him straight. So I told him it was Dad. You did what? Well, it was the right thing to do. But he didn't tell you where she was, though? No, but I didn't think he would. But with any luck, he might call Debbie. You never know. So how was she? Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Kids were running riot. Did I hear you blow kisses down the phone? No. Yeah, you did. I heard you. Shut sure, up. Sure. <laughs> so, did you mention Andy? Yes, I said I would. And? <sighs> she wasn't best pleased me fighting his corner, but she's agreed. So, you know, I can pass the number on. There, you see? Now, how hard was it to do the right thing? <sighs> this is a one-off. We'll see. Or should I set the table? No, I can do it. Let me help. Please. OK. This doesn't mean you're forgiven. I was really hurt that you went to Cain behind my back. I'm sorry. I didn't think. I, I just did it. Yeah. Well, Cain knows I was on Andy's side. And I would have told him afterwards and dealt with the consequences. Yeah, and he was never going to stay mad at you, was he? No. I know how to get round him. There. Done. Well, you've only set it for two. I thought I'd give you guys some space. And I promise I won't do anything else to cause trouble. What's that? Debbie's details. Really? Do you want them or not? I can't wait. Daddy loves you so much, sweetheart. OK? Bye-bye. Bye. So it went well, then? Thank you. You're welcome. Sarah couldn't wait to tell me a life story about a school, a new home, her friends. She was even speaking in French. I had no idea what she was saying, but it was brilliant. And I couldn't get a word out of Jack, not even hello. Oh, well, maybe next time. When I see him. What, are they coming back? No. But Debbie's given me their address. Says I can go. Really? This wouldn't have happened without you. Oh, well, I'm glad I could help. So when are you going to go? Well, the first flight I can get. I'm not actually going to stay with them. I don't think Debbie's ready for that yet, but I'll just get a cheap hotel. I'm not bothered as long as I'm there. I don't suppose you fancy some company. Well, I don't want to crash in on you and the kids. They don't even have to know I'm there. I, I can stay at the hotel and sunbathe and read, and then when you're not hanging out with them, you can come and hang out with me. If, if you want. Sounds perfect. <laughs> 